Hello everyone, this is day 4 and 5 in Madeira. If you haven't seen the previous videos, please watch it after watching this video. But we are going to hike next to the irrigation system, completely different as from the previous hike. We're going to see amazing sunsets, hike up there to Dragon Steel, and yeah, well, we're just going uh, to figure out what we're going to do tonight because we have an early flight to catch. And yeah, we're not going to pay for a hotel in that sense because for two hours sleeping in a hotel, that's not really worth doing. So maybe we're going to figure out if stargazing is something that's worth doing in Madeira as well. The first day will be mainly about the Fontes hike and Nevada de Risco. In total, we will be hiking over 20 kilometers, but you're able to do it much shorter in 12 kilometers in a half circular hike or a point to point hike. If you really only want to see the waterfall, you can pay for one of those car trains to get to the restaurant and from there hike for 30 minutes to the waterfall. But how is the hike treating me? This is what I meant that hikes look just completely different here no matter where you go. So diverse because if you have watched my previous video of the previous hike I did next to one of those irrigation canals that was mainly in a very forest like. But here if you look just like the irrigation canal there and it just it's way more like kind of bushes that are here on the side so it's a completely different way but this hike I'm not really sure how I'm doing it now I'm just following all trails and and the maps or like the walking trails that are on there rather than following the quick route because I want to make it a little bit longer um, there should be later two places where you can like where the path kind of diverse one ends up at a waterfall and the other one at the 25 springs or that's how it's translated but yeah i'm not sure yet how that will turn out and where i want to go maybe i will do both if i have the time but the the most famous part here would be to end up at uh, the area with the 25 springs from a small detour of the route you'll find like Goa, Govente and man because it's not on the main route it's not busy at all here so a perfect place to get some food it's 300 meters off from the main route that I'm taking doesn't sound too far but it's 300 meters full stairs going down so yeah there will be a good climb back up again but man a waterfall behind me with the lagoon here I guess if you take your swimming stuff with you, which I did it unfortunately, would make up for a very nice uh, swim here as well. Step by step, do we climb these 300 meter steps back up? Step by step, we'll get there in the end. Then, the last day we explored the far northeast corner on the island. The hike PR8 that takes you from the parking lot to Miradoro Ponta do Forado. A beautiful hike that takes you through a breathtaking landscape. Again, completely different compared to the other days. It is open, it is rough. You have clear views over the cliffs and it might be a good idea to take your sunglasses with you. Not necessarily for the sun, but from the wind that might blow sand into your eyes. Also near here is a nice small beach, Prainga de Canical, that will give you the ultimate relaxation after your hike and where you can go for a short swim. An ideal place for me to relax before leaving Madeira and flying to another destination. 